So the first store we visited is Kyariko Kak Cafe in Shinjuku. They're open from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. For one hour, it's a thousand yen. And they also have some pack prices. So for an hour and a half, it's 1300 yen. There's a two hour one, a three hour one as well. And then there's free time, which means if you pay 2500 yen, you can stay for as long as you like. Store, you take off your shoes and you put them in a little locker here. And then you take a pair of slippers from the shelf. And then there's a sink here where you wash and disinfect your hands to make sure you're clean when you're petting the cats. When you enter the cafe, you will find a giant room full of cats. There were about 20 or so cats on the first floor here, and you can just hang out and play with them. The majority of cats you'll find in this cafe are purebreds, so you get a chance to see a bunch of beautiful cats that you wouldn't normally get to see, so that's really cool. This is a little munchkin cat with short legs. <laughs> Many Japanese apartments don't allow you to keep pets, so cat cafes like this give cat lovers a chance to come and spend time with cats when they normally wouldn't be able to. This cafe also has manga, so you can just sit down and read a comic. Oh, this one's friendly. You can also order drinks just like a regular cafe. They had tea and coffee and cocoa, a bunch of different stuff, but we were too busy playing with the cats. Some of the cats were friendlier than others. This one was my favorite. They were also selling snacks that you can buy for the cats for 300 yen. I got this container of cooked chicken and as soon as I took off the lid, they came running. If you find that the cats are being kind of shy and they're not coming up to you, I recommend giving them snacks. You'll be instantly popular. There's also tons of cat toys you can play with. All right, time to check out the next cat cafe. This is Echo Neko. So, the prices are similar. For one hour, it's 1,000 yen. And that's including a drink, so that's different than the first place we went to. Let's go inside. This place had even more cats than the last one, and I found that they were all super friendly. You might notice that these kitties aren't purebreds. There might be the odd purebred or two but these cats are mostly mixed and that's because they're strays. All the kitties in this store were rescued off the street and nursed back to health and brought here. And what's even cooler about this place is all these cats are up for adoption. So if you live in Japan and you're looking for a cat, 
I encourage you to come to a place like this and adopt one, as opposed to getting one from a pet store. Inside this cafe, you'll find a vending machine that serves hot and cold drinks. I got the hot strawberry milk. It was so good. I really like the size of this cafe. It was a lot smaller than the first one we went to and I thought it gives you a better chance to interact with the cats as well as the other customers. On the wall, you'll find information about all the cats, their names, whether they're girls or boys, and when they entered the store. If you're interested in visiting a cat cafe, I really recommend you check out a place like this that rescues strays off the street. It's really nice and it's great to know that your money's going to support a good cause.